this video we're going to talk about the market regimes that are, are inside the ultimate trend following strategy and indicator now there are two areas in here there's a market regime one and a market regime two they're the same thing but you can use one as a fast and one as a slow and you also have the ability here under a trigger indicator to actually use market regimes as an indicator. Now, what does market regime actually mean? Let's take a look over here at this picture. Market regime is actually something that is work of Dr. Van Tharp. And he had a quantitative way of measuring market types. And he could measure market types such as bull markets, bear markets, and neutrals and sideways markets. And he has a mathematical formula for it. We won't go into it here. But basically, any market regime or system quality number, which is greater than 1.47, is going to be classified as bull volatile. Any numbers between 0.75 and 1.47 are classified as bull quiet, which is still bullish, but not as bullish as the bull volatile. Anything between 0 and 0.74 is going to be a neutral or sideways market. Anything between 0 and negative 0.6 are going to be bear quiet markets. And the very, very bearish markets, the bear volatile markets, are market regime SQNs less than 0 0.6, negative 0 0.6. So going back to the ultimate trend following strategy, we use that inspiration to build that in to the strategy. And here on the market regime period, you can set your look back period. And Dr. Van Tharp recommends a period of at least 100 if you're measuring overall market type. And you can actually set this to as large as 4,999. And that limitation is only due to what TradingView has a limitation on. But the idea here is maybe to have one that's fast. You could have one that's measuring a smaller, I'm sorry, I had it reversed. You have a slow and a fast. So you could have one that's measuring a larger market time period and one that's a slower. So here you can put in your market regime numbers, what you're looking for. So for example, say you're looking only for trades that are only bull quiet and above. So you're looking for anything that is 0.75 and above. You don't want to take any sideways trades or any bear market type of trades. So in your indicator, of your, first of all, you set your market regime period. And you can set this anywhere between 1 and 4,999. Um, in this example, I have it set to 135, but you can play with this. But what we would do next is our market regime max. Say I only want to look for um, trades that go as high as... So I'm going to look for trades between 0.74 and 1.47. So I'll type 1.47 is my max. My minimum is going to actually be 0 0.75 because that's where it starts. 0 0.75. And I'm not going to look for anything in between. I wanted to filter out, say, anything from, you know, 1 to 1.1. I could filter those out with this in-between period. You can see down here that my strategy results actually changed quite a bit by doing that. I'm looking for different types of markets. But, but this is a very flexible way you can look for specific conditions in the market. Now, we also have a market regime moving average cross as a filter. So let's actually visualize this. Here is the SQN coded into an indicator. And right now we have it set on the same period, look back 135. And you can see when it's in this green, uh, light green, fluorescent green, this is a bull volatile. That's going to be the SQNs that are greater than 
When it's in this dark green, it's a bull quiet. So those are going to be SQNs between 0.75 and 1.47. Sideways is going to be your white. That's going to be anywhere between 0 and 0.74. 0, negative 6 is your dark red. And anything less than negative 0.6 is going to be bright red. So you can actually see it visualized here what it looks like. So we can see that we're looking for trades that will only enter when price action is going to be above 0.75 and less than 1.47. And we can see that based on the settings we put in here before. We have 0.75 and 1.47. We're also filtering out 1 and 1.1. So there we have it filtered. Now, where we've taken an extra step, this is work of our own, is when using this, we want to take trades that are going to, if we're taking longs, we want trades that are actually going to be with rising SQN. And we want to take shorts that are with decreasing SQN. So if we add moving averages to the SQN, we can actually filter for trades that are within these moving average crossovers. So for example, in our strategy here, not only are we looking for these criteria for these system quality market regimes, we're also using a market regime moving average cross as a filter. We have a 1 and a 50. So I've already applied two exponential moving averages to it. I have one that's 50, which is going to be your yellow. And the orange line is going to be your fast, which is the 1. So what this does is when this fast crosses above the slow, and we're also within these settings of 0.75 to 1.47, only then if it's within this crossover can we enter that trade. Because you could see over here, for example, we could still be in that area, but we're actually, the price is starting to go down and our SQN and market regime number is starting to go down too. So this is a declining market. We don't want to enter just based on the number alone. We want to enter based on the number plus if it's in a rising SQN, not a decreasing. Now, if we were looking for shorts or for bear markets, we would want to do it where it was decreasing like this. So with that being said, you have one market regime filter. You could use this for a slow setting and you could also have a fast one so for example we have another market regime here with which with a 45 period look back instead of 135 and if we're to take this sqn you know copy it real quick copy paste and we'll set this one to a 45 instead of well, 135 you'll see that this is a little more responsive to the market on smaller time frames. So using these together, you could have this one as a fast and this one as a slow. And these are great together to filter out only the best trades in the market. So that is how market regime works. If you have any questions, I definitely recommend going on YouTube and looking at Dr. Van Tharp's system quality number it's a fantastic contribution of trading he's made and in our strategy you can also even use the market regime as a trigger indicator you can use it as a trend following so if you only want to take trades that are uh, meeting this criteria and only this criteria you can do that you can also use these market regimes down here to filter out any of the other trigger indicator. So if you're using the whole moving average system, these settings here will now be filters for the whole moving average system. If you use standard rate of change, there'll be filters for the standard rate of change. If you use Connor's RSI, there'll be filters for Connor's RSI. So you can literally have unlimited possibilities of using these indicators, excuse me, these market regimes with these trigger indicators. Or you can use it 
as its own standalone system and trade off of it itself. So I know that's a lot of information. Um, for most traders, it's probably something new. Definitely uh, research more with that Dr. Van Tharp's system quality number. Also, send us any questions. If you have questions, talk to us. Send us a message. Go to our contact us form. We'll be happy to help you, and we'll be putting more videos up in the future. So hopefully this at least helped a little bit. Uh, hopefully you understood most of it. If not, contact us. Thank you.